too much, turned a little too aggressively. One of my favorite things to do on a snowmobile is to pick my way through really thick trees like this. It's really technical and it's really, really fun. It's coming up guys, it's coming up. These meadows are really fun because you can get out in them and you can carve and you cruise really fast. It's kind of fun to weave in and out of other snowmobiles and uh, it's just really, really pretty. ruins your day. Oh, I wasn't even going that fast, but man, I could feel that I hit that rock hard. One thing that's really interesting, watch the snow that's on the hood of my snowmobile. So right before impact, you can see all the snow and on impact, all of that snow flies off. It gives you an idea of just how hard I smacked that rock. So I back up, come down, take a look at it. Oh, it's clearly damaged. Tell everybody else, hey, slow down. We don't have to total two sleds today. Ah. Ah. Go past the rock. Now you can see this person in front of me. First off, they've got this weird helmet on, which was distracting to me. That's why I wasn't really watching directly in front of me because I was watching these two riders and it kind of had their focus. But what just really kills me is as I go up and talk to this person, they're gonna be like, yeah, I hit that same rock. You guys good? I, I hit that same rock. Really? Oh, you did? Oh, okay, cool. Well, hey, thanks for uh, letting me know, you know, but whatever, I guess it's not your problem, but you know, waving your arms and flagging us down like, hey, there's a rock right at the surface and I just barely hit it, would have been nice, whatever. What, whatever. So cruise over here and you get back on the uh, trail. I wanna get back on really hard packed snow so that I can flip my sled over and really examine it because I, I know I hit that rock really hard. I don't know if I've got a broken bulkhead, just damaged plastic or whatever, but it's gonna be bad. So flip it over, walk around, take a look at it. Let's see here. So you can tell the plastics definitely damaged. The cast iron first glance looks okay. The A arms still seem to be functioning, but the problem is that plastic covers a part of the cast aluminum, and I can't see that. And that, if there is damage, it's gonna be under that plastic. And so I'm trying to look under, it's packed with snow and ice. So here in just a little bit, I'm gonna get my Leatherman out of my bag and uh, kind of dig in there a little bit more. But uh, for right now, I'm just trying to see if there's any other cracks that I can see. But man, I just dead centered that rock. The problem with skidoos is that the way they're built is that the bulkhead where the A-arms come together right here, uh, if you hit a rock dead on, it's likely to bend or break that cast aluminum. And if you do that, it's totaled. The sled's, it's, it's garbage. There's no way to fix it. You can't heat up the cast aluminum because as you do, that heat through the aluminum transfers and you have to get it really hot. Like it's like 2000 degrees and it transfers so uh, easily through aluminum that you'll melt everything else on your sled can't really weld it there's not really anything you can do to it and, and since it's part of the frame if you break it right here that's that's a big problem so uh, I 
in more of a in the past I've been more of a Polaris guy. So because of this, I decided, like a lot of people, I'm not ever going to ride a Skidoo in the backcountry unless I have a bumper and a uh, belly pan, like an aftermarket skid plate on it. Uh, it's just not worth it. So I pull out the Leatherman and that allows me to get the ice and snow away where I can actually see in there. What ended up happening uh, after I was able to pull this off, there was a little bit of damage, but the sled is still completely functional. Um, it's not really repairable, but also at the same time, you can see right here that um, although the cast iron was damaged a little bit, it still functions. And so I'm not going to fix it. I'm just going to ride it and uh, it functions totally fine. Luckily, uh, I think what really saved me is a fraction of a second before I hit that rock, I saw it and I hit my brakes. You can't really see it on the video, but that's what happened. And it was able to shed just a little bit of energy right before impact. And then also I wasn't going that fast to begin with. And so that really saved me. If I had hit this rock like 10, 15 miles an hour faster, it would have just completely destroyed that sled. Anyways, it's a risky run when you ride snowmobiles in the backcountry. But uh, I got lucky and uh, I live to ride another day. Spencer at the Grand Mesa Lodge and on YouTube called Summit Secrets. Check out our YouTube channel. Or if you're on YouTube watching this, check out our Facebook page and I'll catch you on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get more content like this.